Hello and welcome to a really quick and hopefully short video for Linux.net. So this is a well-known device, right? It's the Pine 64 Pine phone running post Mac OS Edge. But um, the reason is not that I want to show you what's new with the Pine phone. Uh, I don't know where to start, honestly. It's not that I knew everything changed or something, but I bet there's been a lot since I last made a video about the Pine phone because that's been like, I don't know, that was in 2022, I think. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, but this here, this is what this video is about. Um, this device is the OnePlus 6, also running post market OS Edge. Um, and this is Plasma 6. And now we're ready on the Pine phone. So um, this device hasn't been on for a while, so that's why the date is uh, at the beginning of Unix time. And I just put an SD card in here with both Mac OS Edge to show you this uh, nice welcome visit and to also show the light theme. Um, so at first you have a screen where you can correct if it's wrong for your liking the scaling of the display. Um, fractional scaling is possible. So Plasma 6, uh, Plasma Mobile 6 uh, is of course part of the KDE Mega, mega release, uh, meaning uh, the port of Plasma Desktop and Plasma Mobile and all the apps to Qt 6 from Qt 5. So it's quite a major thing. Um, so, I mean, I've seen this for a, while, uh, for, for a number of times. Uh, my first KDE desktop I ever used was something uh, around KDE 2, 3, 4 was, I think, a relative disaster. And then 5 was really, really good. Uh, at least at the start it was okay and then it became good. And now 6 is already quite promising, I think. Uh, but this is not about the desktop. I think there are tons of videos about the desktop. This is about mobile. So there's a toggle here for the dark theme. And yeah, it's of course extra slow on the Pine phone. Uh, but um, I think that's nice that he can choose so early and the wallpaper changes along. So that's really nice. Then you can choose your time zone. Um, so you can go and type, I don't know. Like for, for me, I think Berlin would be correct, right? So, uh, yeah, if only I knew how to type. Um, so, of course, by default, um, the keyboard has haptic feedback enabled. I think on the Python, it's, just, it's okay. On the OnePlus 6, it was way too intense. And now the dialogue is stuck here. Um, I didn't see that. Uh, on my uh, OnePlus 6. So this may be due to the Pine phone being relatively slow. Um, these are the apps that uh, Postmarkers ship by default if you download the current Edge image with Plasma Mobile. On this, uh, Coco has been renamed to Photos, which is much a much better name for an image viewer. And so let's briefly go about some apps that I installed additionally here all of them been ported to Qt6. Um, so Discover, uh, of course, as the software store, uh, it seems to only um, support flat packs, if I'm not totally mistaken here uh, currently. So you can use it to browse those, uh, but there's not much in terms of Alpine native packages. Um, I also haven't done a phone call, I'm sorry, but yeah, time is scarce. Um, the browser, uh, Anglefish is very nice. Um, it has always been a very nice browser. And now um, with Qt6, there's uh, a new Qt web engine. So a new Chromium basically, uh, which also makes things better, uh, quite smooth. And it has this mobile UI, which is really nice. Um, so if we go to linmap.net real quick, uh, that loads in an instant because it's very lean side. Uh, and then I can, if I want to go back, I can just swipe like that 
uh, or if I want to go forward like that, it's it's really neat and I think it's a very good uh, browser, browser implementation and you can also do fun stuff like uh, if you want to uh, bookmark a certain site, for example, linuxphonefs.org, uh, you can uh, not only bookmark it, you can also add it to the home screen uh, so that it's basically right there then. So let's see if that worked. So this is not a new feature, just uh, in case you don't know. Uh, so here we go. Uh, apparently I haven't set a uh, correct fev fev icon for this or that's currently broken, I don't know. Uh, but no, I should have an in-app, uh, some, 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 yeah, single page browser app launching here. Seems to be currently broken. Now, of course, with everything being new in the mega release, and we're still being really early in this, uh, I think for the desktop, the first point release, so 6.0.1 has been released already, but otherwise not much. Um, there's, uh, of course, a lot of stuff that still needs to be fixed and that will be fixed. Uh, one notable bug is if I turn on automatic orientation and go like this and then go back uh, and yeah, apparently turn the screen off here and let's turn it back on and lock back in. This password isn't a secret. Now it's all black. Well, beforehand, I had a less bad version of this uh, with just uh, the top bar and the bottom bar disappearing. Um, and then there's one more recommendation. This is yet another device, uh, the device I've been running Plasma Mobile on all the time, the Moto G4 Play. Um, this has severe, severe uh, graphic issues, but I think it's my fault because I had a customized Plasma 5 install on there and just upgraded in place. So maybe uh, if you're upgrading, if you're on Postmarketer's Edge and going to Plasma 6, consider a backup and reinstall to maybe have less glitches. Um, if you're new into Linux phones, this is really cheap. Um, but honestly, I, I wouldn't uh, recommend this device at that point in time, um, because uh, many apps uh, don't uh, properly uh, work on its height. So this is still a 16 by nine device, not um, 16 by eight or two by one, like the Pine phone or uh, an even taller aspect ratio here on the one plus six. Um, and thus, um, like if I want to enter the Wi-Fi menu here, uh, apparently um, they assume a minimum height of um, larger than this device is high. Here, um, that's sad, and I've seen it across other apps. It's not just a, a Plasma issue, it's also with uh, GTK apps, which of course also still still work uh, if you want to run one on on this. So if I, for example, open Tuba, a Mastodon client, um, of course, there's also Tokodon. So why would you use Tuba? But yeah, you know, I need demo up here. And you see the, the keyboard pops up real nice. So that integration is that cross desktop integration is going pretty well. Overall, um, of course, it's not perfect. Like nothing is this is early days for plasma six. But and here's my conclusion. Um, I think it's really good looking. And uh, once some minor kings are ironed out, um, this is going to be pretty great, I think. So yeah, um, just don't uh, don't activate that stupid uh, rotation, right? <laughs> that may lead to problems currently. Should be fixed if I read correctly in the Plasma Mobile Group uh, with 6.0.2. Zero dot two. So let's hope for that. Yeah. So with all these devices here, uh, thank you for watching and see you soon. I'll put important links right below the video and have fun uh, with nice Linux devices maybe. Bye bye.